Hi, this is Tracy from Frenchy Said Designs. Uh, this is tutorial number two on how to color a flower. And I'm going to be showing you how to color a flower using the gradient tool, the airbrushes, and the warping tools. So just follow along. It's not that hard, honest. First of all, we're going to color the flower, except we're going to do something different this time. We're going to add a layer. I'll show you where you add a layer. And inside this layers palette, click on this little sheet that looks like it has a corner folded up. That's the add layer. And we're going to right click on there and go to layer properties. And we're going to call this the coloring layer or whatever else you want to call it. You don't even have to change it, but it uh, just helps to keep everything straight. Um, we're going to change the layer properties of this layer because what we're going to do is we're going to color on top of the outline and you want the lines to show through. So when you're on in normal, the, uh, layer, the color will hide the lines. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to multiply. So in the layers window here, from normal we're going to change it to multiply. And then we're going to uh, color the flower just as usual using the gradient tool. We're going to have to select the area that we're going to color first though. But instead we're going to uh, change the way we're going to select the flower. So go back to your background layer and using the magic wand we're going to click on the outside of the flower in the background. And you'll have marching ants on the outside of the flower and around the, the edge of the image. Now go to select and go to inverse. Now everywhere inside the flower now is selected. Even the little outlines. Now click on your coloring layer over here and then we're going to do as we did before and we're going to color using the gradient tool. And I picked a nice little purple gradient. So click, hold, drag, up through a petal, let go, and there we are. So now we're so see that we've colored the flower but the outlines, you can see it. Now we're going to use the airbrushes to just highlight the petals click on the brushes and inside the brush drawer we're going to go all the way up to the top to airbrushes and then the different this is where you select the different types of brushes from the drawer click there and go to digital airbrush and then we're going to pick a white color and before we do anything you've, if you've been messing around with the program and your brushes are all changed this is where you go um, right here make sure your palettes, which one is it, the brush palette. This is the brush palette and right now it's it's being shown but if it says uh, show brushes click on there and right here I've got my brush palette off to the side. Click on the little minimize button underneath the close button there and right here the little circle with the arrow in it click on that and go to restore all default variants. So every single brush that you've messed up uh, we'll, we'll go back to its um, program defaults. So confirm that. To confirm, just hit yes. And then uh, just minimize this, get it out, of, out of your way. If you're using a mouse, um, when you're in the digital airbrush, turn off the opacity slider here. This is set for tablet, and basically when you har press harder with your pen on the tablet, uh, it'll make the brush more opaque, but since you're using a mouse, that's not going to matter much. So just click none, and click the minimize button to get that out of the out of the way. And also, if you want to see your whole flower, right now I've got the the Im the um, screen squished to a little size so that I can keep my video kind of small. Yours will be more spread out. But if you want to hide your palette, go to window, and right here it says hide palettes click on that and if you want to show the palettes again either go back here and go to show palettes or there's a, a keyboard shortcut you can use and it's control H so if you hit click control H it'll show the palettes again let's hide it again hit control H again what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on the edge of the top of the petals and just click around until you get a nice little highlight
control H again to show the palettes, I mean the palettes, and we're going to change to a darker purple. I'm going to use the eyedropper tool and select one of the darker purples in the petal. And in the, the color palette here, I'm going to just slide the, the color wheel to a darker shade. There we go. Back to brushes. Make sure you're still on airbrushes. And just uh, click around in the center of the flower to just darken it a bit. Okay. Um, now we're going to change to the warping brush. So back to the brush drawer and at the very bottom go to warping. Uh, select warp instead of, it's probably set to twirl. Let's click on warp. And the default settings um, work pretty good with with this brush. I'm just going to make sure, oh, I'm going to change the opacity to none because we're using a mouse that out of the way. And what you do is you click and just drag a line up from the center out to the edge of the petal and just keep doing it till you get a nice crease in your flower. You can make another one over here. Give it a little bit of a curve if you want. Like that. Keep going over the line and then you go from the light downward in between where you made the dark lines. Just keep going over it till it looks nice, and then do this, do the same thing for each petal, and um, make sure you're on the the coloring layer, not on the background layer. The reason I showed you to do it this way is because if you try to do it with the outline around each of the lines, when you when you crossed crossed through one of the outlines with your warping tool, it would smear it, and it looks pretty pretty gnarly. Ugh. So. Try it this way, it's not that hard to add an extra layer. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I hope hope to have more tutorials in the future. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.